Hey there, hello there, hello there, it's Jeff Cutter Diver welcoming you to the championship of the Classic Soccer Knockout Final Tourney 2024. We have the 2010 Spaniards against the 2014 Germans. That is the final one game, winner take all, and we will be watching the whole game. At the start, the 2014... Actually, I found this out. We can actually do this. So the 2010 Spaniards took on the 62 Brazilians and won and drew against them and then against the 1970 Brazilians, one of the greatest super teams of all time. They did lose to Brazil, but their 2 nothing win in the first leg led them to getting the giant win in on aggregate. And the quarterfinals against the 1938 Italians, they did not give up a goal. They scored only one goal themselves and won on aggregate. And then the 1966 Brits, they won 1-0, 1-0. So they have actually done well the last four games. and they have not, They've only conceded three goals in their in their eight matches. Five wins, one loss, two draws. But yeah, nine goals, three, only one goal per game pretty much. David Villa has put six behind and enemy goalkeepers. Julio Busquets and Xavier Alonso are the only other ones to do so. The 2014 Germans have scored 16 and given up six. So yeah, they took out the 1970 Brits 4-0 on aggregate. They crushed Uruguay in the first leg of their semi, I mean, for that last 16, they tied Uruguay, but it was TLTL. And then in the quarterfinal against the 2014 Dutch, they won 3-1 and then 0-0. They actually lost to the Magic oh, Magyars 2-1, but somehow won 3-1 on home turf to knock the Hungarians out. Miro Klose has five goals. Mats Hummels, Tony Cruz, and Thomas Müller with three. Howitz and Kadira with the other ones and no own goals. So if you want defense, it's going to be Spain. If you want offense, it's going to be Germany. You will. Red versus white. Here we go. We will be watching this. Spain going with the 4 2 3 1 meeting for the back two kind of close five defensive midfielders. Three midfielders and four. Like a striker. Germany goes for their natural 4 3 3. Four of the back three in the middle. Three up front. It's Iker Casillas and Manuel Neuer are the goalies. They're back four for Spain. Philip Capilla. Joe P.K. Cruz, Julio, and Silvio Ramos. The two defensive midfielders, Xavi Alonso and Sergei Bucats. With Andres Ernesto, Xavi, David Villa, and Fernando Torres. Your big boys up front. Germany has Howitz, Benedict Howitz, Matt Hummels, Jerome Boateng, and Philippe Lam at the back. Tony Cruz, Bastian Schweinsteiger, Sandy Kadira in the middle. With Miro also. Mirza Kosa, that's also Kosa, sorry, and Tunis Müller are your front three. So, of course, we're going to all of you this, meaning I won't have any dice rolls to do with this. I'll just describe the action as important action comes to play. Almost to Cruz. PK saw that coming, will jump up. Will Tanks gives the ball back. He will give it to Ozil. Ozil. Ozil trying to do something. Ozil takes a shot. Right at Casillas. Do they call it a shot? I don't think they kept Fila with a... Well, no, they don't call it a shot. They call it a pass that was called a shot. Hummels. Hummels. Ramos sees him coming. And we'll do the press. Also, will take the foul on him. PK with the kick. Five minutes into this match. Fernando Torres. One game winner take all. Torres to Devin Fila. Ramos. Cruz with the foul. Heavy Fila! Doing high! High in the sky! Schweinsteiger! Schweinsteiger to Klosa! Klosa! Klosa takes a shot! Steals the ball from him. Up to 
Kadira. Kadira Busquets saw that coming. Busquets to Inesta. Inesta takes a shot. Gats, his first assist. So Inesta scores. Not Dali Villa. And Spain has one nothing lead. Now they'll probably sit back. Have a tell about Busquets? Yep. Lula. Down to somebody. Fifty fifty ball. And PK will take the fifty fifty ball to Shabby. We will give it to PK. We will dump it down. Who saw that coming? To Mom, to Thomas Wheeler. Wheeler. Wheeler takes a shot. Okay, 
comes it to Shavi. Shavi to Gabi Villa. To Howitz. We'll jump back to Boateng. Villa Sabi coming. Long. Boateng with the foul. He's going to be careful. He's already got a yellow. Iniesta. This is the kick to Villa. He wants to throw to Iniesta for a pass. Tulsa saw that coming and heads it out. Iniesta for the onside kick. Puyo, Puyo. Cruz 
go hit it out for a corner, which doesn't really mean anything. And Yesta will throw a corner. Vila wants to take a shot. Oh, yeah, second of the night. I know, and that'll do it. Spain, complete game, complete domination by Igor Casillas. And three goals in the first half were suffice it enough. The Spaniards win 3 0. Inesta, Xavi Alonso, and Danny Vila all with goals. I wonder where we put Dalski for Ozil or somebody. Or even Drexler and Murdersacker. You know, but yeah, the 2014 Germans, nothing much. Shots were 19 7, shot attempts by Germany. On target, Spain 9 6. Both goals made 6 saves. Fouls 12 11 for Spain, corners 10 7 to Germany, yellow cards 2 each, 51 49 possession. Yeah, Spain did it. The 2010 Spaniards only give up 3 goals 2 to the 70 Brazilians and 1 to the 62 Brazilians. I mean, the 62 Brazilians won back to back world championships. They had to do it without Pele, who was hurt. Garinja had to be the main guy. 1970 Brazil, you know, the super team, Mario Sogallo, who recently passed away, being a good manager. The 1938 Italians who won back-to-back -back world champions. And then the 1966 Brits, who, English, who won the World Cup, you know, on home turf. And then they had to take on the 2014 Germans who also won the World Cup. So they, they so every one of the five teams they faced actually won a World Cup. So logically, they didn't play any cream puffs. They played five former World Cup champions, the 62 champs, the 70 champs, the 38 champs, the 66 champs, and the 2014 champs. Yeah, the 70 Brazilians were the more recent team until 2014. So Spain actually were the younger of the teams until Germany. Xavi Alonso was the only other guy other than Debbie Vila that scored more than, had to score multiple goals. 2014 Germany, they took on the 70 English who went down to Germany in real life in the I believe the quarterfinals. Yeah, the quarterfinals, because Germany played Italy in that famous semifinal and lost 1970. Yeah, but the 70 Brits did win the uh, knockout thing. Uh, and then the 1930 Uruguayans, who won the first World Cup. Then the 2014 Dutch, who actually lost in the semifinals, well, took third place. The 54 Hungarians, who won second place, who, who choked their championship chances against. West Germany in 54, and the 2010 Spaniards. So they had to face two former World Cup champs. So they were facing more, more cream puff teams. He will. So Manuel Nair tried his best. So yeah, the Spaniards only give up three goals. The only goal, guys... So Mario Sogallo, surprised enough, he was the only Brazilian to score off of the Spaniard. Yeah, Sogallo. Yeah, Pele only made one appearance, if you will. Yeah, you see those guys. All that. And then the 1970 Spaniards. Two goals by Pele. So Pele put two in the net, but fortunately for those, Spain survived. So Pele and Mario Sogallo were the only two players to score a goal against Igor Casillas. What a job by the Spaniards to be the world champs. And champs they will forever be. Anyway, I'm Jeff Diamond. I do.